everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down and filming a Q&A for you. I put up a little question thing on my Instagram last week. So I have the questions written down on my phone and I'm gonna just jump right into it. So the hairstylist that I go to is Nancy. She actually owns her own salon called El Mondo Hair Moda. She's also the stylist that comes with me on site to do weddings, so she's a part of my business as well. I'm super thankful that I found her. She's extremely talented at what she does, and she really takes her time to make sure that everything is perfect. As you guys can tell, my roots are like a super, super dark brown. That is my natural hair color, it's very dark and I always wanted to go this light, but I've never had a hairstylist that was able to do it. They always say that it's gonna take four or five appointments to achieve the color that I want. We all know that hair can be expensive, so you don't really wanna spend three or $400 five times to get your hair to the color that you want. So that was always really frustrating for me. And then when I met Nancy, I shared kind of like what my intentions were with my hair and she was like, we can make it happen for you. I went to see her the first time that um, she did my hair, which was back in the summer. I believe it was like in July or something. She took my hair from a really dark brassy blonde to like a beautiful light blonde. It wasn't as ashy as it is right now and it was more of like an ombre look. I was literally mind blown that she was able to achieve that color in one shot because that had never happened in the past. That was a long spiel, but basically I recommend Nancy over anyone. Because my hair is an ashy blonde now and I want to keep it that way, I use a purple shampoo. I have tried other purple shampoos in the past, but nothing compares to this one right here. It is Shimmer Lights by Clairol. I get mine at Sally's Beauty Supply, but I'm sure that you could get it at any beauty supply store or online. I don't recommend using this shampoo every single time that you wash your hair because it can be very dry, but I use it every second or third time that I wash my hair. As soon as you get out of the shower, you see the difference that it makes, like it really, really works. In terms of other products that I use on my hair, I use the Joico Color Endure Conditioner. This is the big bottle. I actually got this from Winners um, a few months ago and I believe it was like $20 for this huge bottle and you really need like the smallest amount. I like this conditioner a lot because it doesn't make my hair feel very greasy. I've used other conditioners before that have my hair feel stringy and I didn't like that at all. So a few other hair products that I use religiously are the Milkshake Silver Shine Whipped Cream Creamy Conditioning Mousse for blonder gray hair. This stuff is amazing. It's like a purple mousse that you run through your hair before you style it and it takes away any little signs of brassiness that you might see instantly away. If your hair has a tendency to go brassy like mine does, I would totally recommend this. Last part of this little hair segment, tool that I mainly use to style my hair like the way that I have now is just a wand. Um, I'm not sure exactly how big this wand is, um, but it is from Absolute Heat Pro Ion Series. I got it at Winners. I won't leave the curls on for too long. And at the end, I basically just brush it out and I don't hairspray my hair because I like the look of it being really nice and flowy. It's hard to choose three makeup items. My favorite type of makeup to do on myself is skin makeup. My top three makeup items would definitely be things relating to my foundation routine. It's no surprise, but it is my Pro Long Wear waterproof foundation. I love this because it's 24 hour wear, so it lasts pretty much all day without any touch-ups and doesn't feel very heavy on the skin while still giving good enough coverage, so love that. My next favorite makeup item is my powder that I use. It is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Dark. I love this powder because it makes your skin look really nice and airbrushed. Pretty much looks good over any foundation and it doesn't make your face look cakey. The next item is also from MAC. It is my highlighter in Global Glow. I wouldn't consider myself to be in the best shape of my life, but I am working on it. I had gained a little bit of weight in my last semester of school. A couple months ago, started going back to the gym regularly. I go to Good Life Fitness and I love it because I go to the classes. So if you're not familiar with the classes at Good Life, basically they have weight training, cardio, and dance classes and stuff. I mainly do weight training and cardio classes. My favorite ones to do are body pump and body attack. Body Pump is the weight training one. It burns around like five to 600 calories per one hour class. 
Body Attack is a cardio class, so it's very high intensity, burns around 700 calories if I'm not mistaken. You can find that info on their website. My fitness routine is basically getting to the gym as often as I can. I try to go at least three times a week. I'm not where I wanna be yet, but we're working on it, so work in progress. I feel like there's two jobs that were like my first jobs. I'll explain. When I was 13 years old, um, I was kind of in that in-between stage where I was too old to be going to camp, but not old enough to get a real job yet. My parents didn't want me getting into trouble throughout the summer, so they said either you're gonna go to camp or we can pay you to volunteer at camp. <laughs> From a young age, I was motivated to work. So even though I made like $50 a week for working as a volunteer camp counselor and some of the kids at camp were actually my age, it was an interesting experience. I did it for three years, basically until I was 16 and I was old enough to apply for a real job. It definitely taught me to hustle. I remember one time I got my paycheck and one of my coworkers said, what are you gonna buy with that $100? And I was like, I'm gonna buy a sweater from Aritzia. So I bought one thing with my paycheck. That was my first volunteer job. Then my first job when I turned, actually I was 15 when I started working as like a student or whatever in high school. I had applied to a bunch of different businesses. The place that called me back was Rock and Johnny's Diner. I was like, okay, I'll take it. I was a bus girl slash hostess slash anything that the waitresses needed, I would do. And <laughs> the pay was not good. So all that to say, I did not work there for very long. I worked there until I found another job in retail, but if you guys want all the stories and all the jobs that I've had in the past, that'll be for another video. <laughs> I feel like this is another topic for a longer video too, but I have certain tactics to stay organized and stay on top of things. I also have a really good support system too. In terms of organization, I use Google Calendar. You put all of the events and all of the tasks that I have to do. It's good because it's on your phone and your computer, so you pretty much have it anywhere that you go. I also like to write down things in Google Notes. So they have this little feature where you can do to-do lists and you can put these little circles beside the tasks and actually check them off when they're done. So I do that for even little things. It gives me satisfaction to check it off my list when I'm done. I always wanted a YouTube channel, mainly for being able to network with people. I always loved how YouTubers have this online community and they build relationships with the people that watch them. Definitely the best part about a YouTube channel in my opinion. Um, and also getting to share the things that you enjoy with people who have similar interests that may not live in the same area as you. We're on to the juiciest question. Kaylin Kyle was an Olympic athlete that played for the Canadian pro soccer team. Now she works for TSN as like a host or broadcaster for different kinds of events relating to mainly soccer, I believe. At the beginning of August, I got a message on Instagram from Kaylin. I had no idea who she was before. I got like a message request on my makeup Instagram from her. So I clicked on it. So having worked in social media and marketing before, I was well aware of what she was trying to do. She wanted free services in exchange for a post or two on her Instagram promoting my business. At the time she had 91,000 followers and I had maybe 200 followers on my makeup account because I had just started it. I saw this as a huge opportunity to grow my business. So I agreed. I went to her hotel, her mom and her little baby were there and it was really cute. Like I had a great time doing her makeup. I thought we got along really well. I got along well with her family and she really liked the makeup that I did. We didn't have like a written agreement or anything like that. It was just over Instagram going back and forth. So long story short, it was a struggle to get her to post anything on her Instagram. She was really nice when I was doing her makeup. Like I really enjoyed the experience and the opportunity but the outcome was not as great as I had hoped. I am thankful for it because it was a good learning experience. It taught me a lot about working with influencers and the precautions that you should probably take as a business before you decide to work with someone. So we're down to the last question of this Q&A and it's a good one. This is super exciting. So a few months ago, I connected with a great group of producers and we have been working very hard in the studio to come out with a single for you. Hoping to release it early on in 2019 and then hopefully release my EP 
mid-2019. This is like such a dream for me. Ever since I was a little girl, it was my dream to have my own music and be able to share that with everyone. So to have written and recorded something that I can call my own is very, very exciting and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. So look out for that in early 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was a lot of fun for me to do. It's kind of nice to be able to share some more personal things about me on my channel. I'm glad that I filmed this and stay tuned for the next video. I'll talk to you guys later.